This story is shocking, and we warn you, the video might be hard to watch. This is 28-year-old Clarissa Burgos, a mother whose life was cut tragically short this week in New York City. It was just before midnight in Richmond Hill, Queens, when Clarissa was seated in the passenger seat of this black Honda. That security cam footage shows a chilling scene. Watch as three gunmen clothed in dark attire walk up and ambush the car. They open fire, and one shot hits Clarissa in the head, killing her instantly. Beside her, a 39-year-old driver was also hit multiple times, but somehow miraculously survived. What's even more puzzling is the motive. Why was Clarissa, a loving mother leaving behind a four-year-old son, targeted? Regardless of the particulars in this case, we know exactly why violent crimes like these keep happening in our country. Our system of uber capitalism keeps people locked in a cycle of poverty most will never escape. Right now in our country, while billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg are building $100 million states in Hawaii with bunkers to survive the end of the world, 140 million Americans live in poverty or are one crisis away from financial ruin. The top 1% in our country have more wealth than the bottom 90% combined, and experts say the only real way to stop violent crime like this is to make sure everyone, absolutely everyone, has a roof over their head, food on the table, adequate health care, and enough money to survive on. Police are still looking for the people who murdered Clarissa. My condolences goes out to this lady's family, definitely to her kid, but it's a fact, that kid ain't got no parent here now, and who knows why she was mixed up with them people. Maybe the, the attack was for the person that she was with. Who knows? But at the same time, nobody deserved to go through that. And nobody deserved to have their life taken from the hands of somebody else. That's a high power decision or like let's say you get surgery or a medical condition. You know what I'm saying? Something was to happen. That's those type of type of uh, ones that can make those type of decisions because, I mean, maybe it wasn't just me. But for somebody to do some random crazy stuff like this, I mean... It's just crazy, all this gun violence we see, not just in America, but in the world where, you know, it's just like nobody care nowadays. There's just so much this, death, that person getting killed, this and that person. You're seeing six-year-olds with guns shooting people and teachers and stuff. 911 emergency reporting. Yes, hi, this is Edwin Lara, and I'm the guy on Interstate, Interstate 5. Going at high speed. I, I know you guys have the shopper on me already. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say I am going to turn myself in. Okay, where are you at? Okay, I'm on I-5. Uh, I think close to Reading, if I'm right. So, you know, I, I am wanted for murder in the state of Oregon. Okay. So we about to get into a crazy 911 call. As you can see, this crazy guy kidnapped a girl from Oregon. Don't know how this is gonna end because we never know how this is gonna end. It's just really sad that somebody have to experience this nonsense that's going on from somebody who's having a mental episode. But it's a good thing they called 911. But we don't know how this might turn out. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it's free. Like, comment down below. Let's get it. Where are you at right now? Can you stop? I am going to stop once I head Reading. Once I'm in Reading, I'm going to stop. Okay, can you tell me where you are right now? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, oh, let's see. There's a sign right here. 50 miles from Reading. You're 50 miles from Reading. Oh, wait, wait. Corning. Corning. From Corning. Are you by yourself or? No, I have someone with me. I kidnapped her in Oregon. She's innocent. Uh, her name is Andrea. What's your last name? He doesn't know. I'll let you, I'll, I'll let her give her a lap and you can call her family, okay? Okay. Just give, me a, just give me a second. What's her name? Hello? Yeah, hi, what's your name? Andrea. Andrea, what's your last name? Me. Okay, are you hurt at all, Andrea? No. No, okay. Can, do you know where you are? Let me talk to Edwin again. Okay, okay. Hello? Yeah, Edwin, um, you're heading southbound on, on five. Yeah, I'm heading southbound on five. I'm Did 50 you make miles it past? Away. Okay, I'm sorry. Did you make it past Reading yet? I think I did. I'm 50 miles from Corning. You're 50 miles from Corning? Yeah, one five fifteen. Are you able yes. to safely find somewhere to stop? I'm not gonna stop right here. I'm just gonna turn myself in and and uh, Corning. Okay. Are you going uh, to Corning Police or where are you going? 
yeah, I'm going to Corning Police. But I want to ask you a favor. Uh huh. So I have asthma. You have asthma, okay? Yeah. So you just tell them not to be too rough on me, cause you know I I can't really breathe right now. All right. So that's all I wanted to say. Do you you need, know, I don't want. Do you need wanna... that a medical or? Yeah. Well, I I think so. I'm gonna need my inhaler. I forgot my inhaler at home. You know, I went all over, all over uh, uh, Salem, Oregon, looking for for an inhaler, but I guess they don't sell it, you know, behind the counter or out of counter. I, so, I, Edwin, how fast are you going? I'm going about 120 miles an You're hour. About right 120 now. miles an hour? Yes. Can you slow down? Well, I want to make it there quick. That way I can turn myself in. Well, well the officer sees you with it. We just don't want you to speed away from anything. If you can stop and just dig yourself in, it'll probably be easier. Well, there's an officer behind me right now. Okay, they see you. We're talking to him. They see you. Yeah, she's seeing me. I think it's a she. She's right behind me. Okay. The officer sees you. And are you able to just safely stop? Yeah, I, I can stop. Uh, but not right now. I'll stop in Corning. Uh, what's the difference from stopping now in Corning? I just don't want to stop right here in the middle of the road, you know, putting myself in danger and putting everybody else in danger, more in danger, I guess. You know, they won't. They're, they're aware. I'll let them know they won't. But if you can stop safely, they just don't want you to run. They don't think you're going to run or anything. Okay. Yes, um, yes, Edward, yes. do you have any weapons with you? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I do have a gun on me. I am not going to flash the gun, so you tell them not to shoot me. Okay. You know, I don't want to die. Okay, you stick by your word, though. I'll let them know. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm going to let them know. You know, uh, don't hurt Andrea. You know, she's a nice girl. You know, don't hurt her. I'm I'm actually calling my family just to say bye to them. So once I'm, once I'm done calling all my family, then I'll, I'll turn myself in. Okay, um, we can get hold of your family if you want. I already called my wife. I called a lot of people already. I am, I am wanted for the death of, uh, Kaylee Sawyer at Bend, Oregon. What's the girl's name? Kaylee what? Sawyer. Sawyer? Yes. Or Squire, maybe. And she was from Bend, Oregon? Yes. I want to say that it was an accident. I, uh, so I work for Camp Public Safety there. And she was really drunk and I didn't see her and I run her over. Okay. And then uh, after that, you know, I I just uh, she was still breathing, and then she was screaming, and I decided to silence her forever. Okay. And I am very remorseful for that, and you know. Okay. I know her. Well, we really don't know how this gonna turn out because he already confessed. To running somebody over and then since they were screaming yelling whatever he ended up killing her okay on another note he have somebody in the car with him now that's talked to her the 911 operator and all that stuff so it's not like he tried to kill her even though he kidnapped her in her vehicle he confessed to a killing and to everything that he doing that's quite weird, but let's hope she don't get into this mental patient, you know. Let's hope not. Are you able to stop? The officers behind you, they don't know if you're running and stuff or, or trying to run from them. So if you can safely stop, they'll have a free block. And nobody will get hurt if you just try to okay. you stop. Okay, you want me to read the plate for you? Your plate? The, 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 the police, police officer's plate? No, 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 you don't need to read the police officer's plate. Okay, because it's, I want her I want her to just get in front of me if she can. Why do you want her in front of you? She can move, she can move all the track. I'm not, I'm not going to shoot anybody, I promise. I know, but the, you just, you have to realize they have to take care of it for their safety, for your I, safety okay. as well. Do you understand all that? Right. Yeah, I understand. Okay. All right, so I'm about to get this morning. I'm like four miles away. Okay, where are you at now? Can you tell me where you are? <laughs> I am four miles from Corning. Okay. How the girl that's with you? How old is she, Andrea? How old is she? Uh, how old are you? She's nineteen. Nineteen years of age. Okay. Yeah.
the day before Edwin Laura forced Andrea May to be a party to his breakdown, he had kidnapped, assaulted, and murdered another local Oregon woman, 23-year-old Kaylee Sawyer. The body of Kaylee Sawyer was not found by police until two days after the kidnapping of May. Having been bludgeoned to when Laura pled guilty to the slaying of Sawyer and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for the heinous act. Bro, that is crazy. This sick ass dude. And it's a good thing. <coughs> it's a good thing he ain't getting out. Just because you did what you did to her body before you slayed her body. Man. I swear to people, we gotta share this world with y'all. And I just pray and hope that all good people, we is protected and everything is good because we never know when these folks might snap, have their own mental breakdown. And women seems to be the target of most of these people and innocent kids. So y'all gotta be careful out there. I mean, you should always be careful, but you know, most of these attacks always be women and kids. Or they get a whole family on some minutes. You know, it's just too much, man. So, like I said, y'all be careful out there. Y'all be safe. You know. Man, this dude did that to that woman's body.